Hi, it's Don with Linux, and what we're going to show today is how RetroUI Pro can be used with Windows 8 to bring back a Windows 7 user experience and make Windows 8 a lot more intuitive and a lot easier for users to use. So we have a Windows 8 PC in front of us, and we're looking at the Windows 8 start screen, and one of the things that's most confusing to users is that there's no taskbar, there's no start button, and it's uh, just not immediately intuitive. Um, so when you're in a corporate environment, you know, rather than having to train people on how this works, it's easier to just install Retro UI and bring back a Windows 7 user experience. So to show you how that works, I'm going to go back to the classic desktop, and I'm going to right click on the taskbar, and I'm going to go to toolbars, Retro UI start button, and we'll see that we have a start button on the screen here. Um, <clears throat> the Retro UI application uh, for the start menu is designed for Windows 8, but it's designed to look familiar like Windows 7. So we have all the traditional things you'd expect, like My Documents, Downloads, Pictures, and, and Music, and so on. We also have uh, advanced functions that you have in the Windows start menu that you can right click, get to manage my computer, uh, computer properties, and so on. You can go back to Control Panel, access devices and printers and do all the things you'd normally expect to be able to do in the start menu. However, the RetroUI Pro start menu is also integrated with Windows 8 and it has a lot of um, Windows 8 features that are built into it. So for example, we can launch Metro or Windows 8 applications directly from our start menu. We can launch um, normal Windows applications like Word and PowerPoint. Um, and we can access our computer and we can also pin our favorite websites like Dropbox and YouTube and so on. So what we're looking at is the uh, default configuration out of the box. So I'll show you how to change some of these things. So I'm going to right click, enable editing. I'm going to get rid of some things. So for example, I don't use Facebook at work. So I'm going to click on Facebook and get rid of it and I can click on things that I don't use at work. So let's say that I don't use uh, ESPN or GrooveShark. And um, the other thing that we want to do is, um, for me, I like to organize my Metro apps together. So I'm going to get rid of some of the things that I don't use, and I'm going to bring some of these things that I do use kind of into an organizational uh, arrangement that I like. So I'm going to put Maps up here, and I'm going to put Google up with Internet Explorer. And so let's say that we're done with uh, arranging things. I can right click, disable editing, and I have a start menu. I can scroll up and down this list with my mouse. I can scroll up and down with the taskbar or with the slider here, or I can also use the scroll wheel on my mouse to scroll up and down through these things. So uh, we're going to go back to the Windows 8 start screen, but first I'm going to show you that we have some other Windows 8 features that are integrated into the start menu. So here we have a button to go back to the Windows 8 start screen. This will open the task switcher. This will open the charms bar. And this button is configurable in the settings. It can either open a classic desktop search or it can open a search in the Metro desktop. So, uh, so I'm going to go back to the start screen. And what you'll notice that's most dramatic here now is that Retro UI is running <clears throat> and it's revealed the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. So users that are confused by the immersive kind of behavior in the Windows 8 start screen now can see that they can just click on the taskbar and they can go back to the Windows desktop anytime they need to. So if I go back to the start screen, one of the other features that's really powerful about Retro UI is that you can just push the Windows key and it takes you back to the classic desktop at any time. So we're going to go, um, I'll demonstrate launching a Metro application. So I'm going to launch uh, the Metro application for news from our start menu. And in my computer, I have uh, it configured to open the applications at 80% of the size of the screen. So this news application is a Metro app. And it normally would open full screen on a desktop computer, which is really annoying. Uh, and so what uh, RetroUI does is it enables you to open applications and resize these applications, move them around the screen, and they work a lot more like normal Windows apps. Um, in RetroUI Pro version 3, we can drag this to the edge of the screen and snap it. Um, and we can drag it to the corners and snap it. 
Um, we can also just push F12 on the keyboard to bring it back to full screen. Um, I can scroll back and forth and use this application just like we would um, if it were full screen all the time. Um, one of the things that's kind of um, difficult to understand in a desktop PC that makes sense on a tablet is to close this Metro app, you have to click the top of the app and drag this to the bottom of the screen. And for people that use Windows, that's a pretty unnatural thing to do. Uh, so I'm going to show you how we do that a lot more effectively uh, when RetroUI Pro is running. So instead of having to do that drag um, to the bottom of the screen, I'm going to push the Windows key on the keyboard, I'm going to push the down arrow, and that application closes immediately. Um, again, uh, if I have an application running, um, I can simply uh, also push the Windows key to get back to the desktop. So let's say we do have a Metro app running, I can press the Windows key and I'm immediately back at the classic desktop. So um, that's a quick overview of how RetroUI Pro uh, version 3 works to improve the user experience in Windows 8. Thank you.